Hello. Check one. Check, check, check. Check two. Um, are we live? Oh my god, what is that? Oh. Oh my god, hi besties. Welcome to my first stream. It's your girl Stardust. How are you all doing tonight? Oh my god. How do I do this? This is literally my first stream. Hey, oh my god, I recognize some of you. <laughs> Welcome. If you guys don't know me, I'm the world's hottest pop star up and coming. And I'm sure most of you do know me, but in case any of you are living under a rock, um, that's my name, Stardust. And I'm really happy to be here. A lot of you guys were, you know, asking to interact with me more and... You know, I don't usually have a whole lot of time after my show, so I was thinking, like, maybe I could do a live stream. I thought I could try this ASMR thing for once, just because it seems like a lot of you guys like it. I'm not really sure why, but I thought I would try it out. Oh my god, hi! Thank you, Geo. Oh my god, I'm the best ASMR artist. That is such a compliment considering I didn't even start doing it yet. Thank you so much. I'm really naturally talented, I know. Hi, hi Ariadne. Daily dose of sea foam. Um, sorry, but we don't have sea foam here because we're at a pool. Um, sea foam goes to the beaches. Um, it's made of fish poop, so I don't really like having fish poop in my water. So anyway, I thought I could do like a nice relaxing poolside ASMR stream. So you guys can just hang out with me near my pool. I'm having some issues with it right now though, so it's a little embarrassing, but like, I don't know, like... The water it just kind of stopped moving altogether. I don't really know why. It still makes water sounds, but like it just doesn't move. It's like jello now. It's really scary. Honestly, I don't really come out here very much, but like it's a really nice day, so I thought I could come out here and just try and do this ASMR thing to you. Oh my god, thank you, Michael. My name is not Fish Poop. My name is Stardust. You should know it. Thank you, Kevin. Nothing like a November dip in the pool. Exactly. It's such a nice, beautiful day for it. I can't really dip in it anymore, though, because of the texture of the water. Um, yeah, my water's broken, like, it's kind of an issue, but there's also the whole frog problem. I usually just swim indoors because, like, I have a pool in my house and I can just use that one, so, like, usually I'm just indoor swimming, but, like, I thought that it would look really pretty to do a stream with the outdoor pool and have it all sunny and stuff. I hope you guys like it, even though we can't actually swim. It is very warm out there. Yeah, it's like super hot, just like me. So, uh, so like... What do you guys do for this ASMR thing? This is actually my first time doing ASMR. Oh, thank you for asking Tris. My pronouns are she, her. 
I don't usually do ASMR because like all of my friends think it's cringe but like you guys seem to like it and I keep telling them like stop uh, like they like it and they're cool just because you like something that's cringe doesn't make you uncool like you guys are still cool what do I like most about ASMR? Well, <laughs> um, I guess nothing because I don't actually listen to ASMR. So I'm just doing this for you guys. I hope you like it. Do you feel relaxed? I don't usually feel relaxed when I sit next to this pool because it makes me think of the frogs. Yeah, I have a bit of a frog issue. I'm just... I really hope none of them jump on me because it's really gross. But like, I guess it's not a big deal. Like, if a frog jumps on me, I think that you guys would save me. But if Larry comes, then you guys can't save me and I'm a little bit freaked out about that. So like, let's just hope that like, any other frog comes because I really don't want to see Larry today. So like, what is your favorite ASMR trigger, you guys? What's everyone's favorite trigger? What's up with the frogs? You know, like, they keep laying eggs, like, all over the pool, and that's why I wasn't swimming in it, because it's, like, slimy, and there just keeps, there's just, like, more and more frogs getting born. Um, so... I don't really like swimming in frogs and Larry's always there and he's like freaking me out. I won't fall in. I wouldn't. I know how to swim. Like, don't worry. You like nom triggers? That sounds interesting. And hand sounds? That's so cool. What if the frogs think I'm gross? Well, I think they probably do, but I don't know. Should I respect the opinion of frogs? I guess I can do some air blowing like this. Am I doing it right? I literally don't know. You guys want me to just like blow on the microphone? Larry the cable guy? No. That's not the Larry I'm talking about. I'm talking about Larry the Frog. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. He's like... Like, the other frogs are fine. But like... Larry is just... You know, like... He's like seven feet tall and he has like really big muscles and he just like really freaks me out I don't know like I, I like I love all like wildlife and stuff but like Larry just freaks me out <sighs> the sound pleases you oh my god I'm so happy Larry, the cable guy, is Larry's, the frog's owner. Could you, like, call him? Because, like, I have been trying to get rid of him because, like, he's really big and, like, I could not beat him in a fight. And, like, it's, like, really freaky because he just comes to the pool and, like, I think, I think he's, like, 
guarding the eggs because there's like a lot of eggs and so like that's like his family or something but like I don't know it makes me feel unsafe you know like I don't really want him to be like in my pool so I called the exterminators like eight times but every time they come Larry just throws them back over the fence so like I don't know what to do like I want to respect his like family and stuff but it's kind of it's kind of like getting inconvenient for me especially since the exterminators charge me like a thousand dollars every time and medical bills he's not like living here okay like he just comes in my house to get bagels in the morning i keep telling him like larry those are my bagels like i need those they're the everything kind so they have all of the nutrients that i need they have all, every of the nutrients so that's the only food that i eat so i kind of i kind of need them but larry's taking them all and i don't know like Like, I, I think he's, like, stealing them for all of his children, and he's, like, feeding his kids bagels in my pool. And there's, like, a whole bunch of bagel residue in the water. And, like, I don't know if I should tell him to stop because, like, it's almost Christmas. And, like, I don't want to ruin the holidays for him. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure if... That would be mean of me. I, don't, I just, I don't, I don't want to be mean. Has Larry the Frog been mean to you? Well, he's not like mean. He's just like, like you know, he just like takes stuff and like, um, fills my pool with eggs. And I actually think like the water stopped moving because all of the eggs merged into like one super egg. So it's just like a big jelly frog egg in the pool and it's like really big so I think the baby might end up being even bigger than Larry I don't know it's just like I don't know if I can deal with that right now I'm not really prepared for that kind of commitment you know but like none of the exterminators will um do anything about it so like if you guys can call like his owner and like talk to him then maybe we could like make it so that Larry can just like go live somewhere else maybe bagel residue yeah it's like it's like slimy and and like i don't know there's just a lot of slimy stuff in my pool that's why i do mostly all of my swimming on in my indoor pool yeah i have like three pools but that one's my favorite because it doesn't have frogs i can't i can't eat the egg that's like murder right because there's like a baby in there Anyway, just like listen to my voice and like pretend that my blowing is just um like a breeze at the beach. Maybe buy Larry his own bagels for Christmas so he won't steal yours. I guess I could do that. I'd have to get like a lot of bagels. But like, I don't know. I think I probably have to get like, okay, he has like 50 children and then the super egg, which probably takes like a lot more bagels than a normal child frog so times how many months would i have to like feed them for i'm just thinking like how many bagels that i should buy You're right, it would cost less than exterminators and also like I have unlimited money because I'm a pop star so like I can just keep 
buying bagels, I guess. Your voice is very relaxing, Miss Stardust. Oh my god, thank you, Villa. Michael! Five dollars. Hey, Stardust, here's some for the residue cleanup. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Let's give a kiss for Michael. are enjoying this poolside relaxation we really like to take it easy here you know like when the frogs are gone we come out to play you know cream lip smacks like whenever you apply a chapstick oh my god okay i actually have a lip gloss here so i can put that on first and then i can like do the lip smacks after thank you You look really good. Oh my god, thank you, I know. Put the bagels into a frog trap. That will get rid of Larry. What do you mean, get rid of? Like, are you, are you telling me to murder him? I don't know, like... Oh my god, Timbo, thank you so much. Hey Stardust, you're pretty rad. Thank you, you're rad too. Yours looks so cool. Don't forget to come to my next show, okay? Maybe I'll meet you, I'll give you an autograph. Uh, taller than all of us, shorter than Larry. I mean, everyone's shorter than Larry. He's like seven feet tall. He's like a really big frog. I think he's like one of those frogs that um has fast has um gotten fast evolution. So like they're like a million years in the future. That's just how frogs are sometimes, I think. I don't know. I don't really know anything about frogs. Yeah, Marcello, I'm not actually an actress. I'm a pop star, which means that I sing pop music. Um, yeah. Really close, though. So close. A wonderful soothing voice. Oh my god, thank you, Batitude. I love your username. Atomic, you have all my albums. Oh my god, super fan over here. Thank you. Thanks for popping in, Discontent. Hope to see you at my next show. I think I have to fix my lipstick now. 
all of this lip smacking is hard on the lips. the frogs or blitz in my next song and I really thought of that like and I really thought of like doing a collab with Larry because he's just like a really big frog that lives in my pool and usually like I don't really um offer collabs with people who um trespass onto my property but you do have a point like maybe that would be a good compromise I don't know. Welcome morning. This is actually my first time live streaming. Um, I think I'm doing okay. It's like really hard for me because this is actually also my first time ever using a computer. You bought all the seats at my show. Wow, you must have like a lot of butts. Adam, my limo driver. Oh my god, everyone give a shout out to my limo driver, Adam. Welcome to this stream. Um, next time you drive me, um, please make sure that the windows are closed because people kept throwing stuff into the window. And I think I might have, like, gotten a rash from one of the, the gifts that people had given me. It had, like, bugs on it. Like, no offense, you guys, but, like, you're kind of cringe and dirty. So, I, I just don't really want to accept gifts from you. <laughs> you can donate all you want. Just don't throw gifts through my window anymore because, um, I don't want to catch any more diseases. Thank you. Larry told me he sniffs your hair. Does he... You're talking to Larry. Would you, like, tell him, like... Or, like, ask him why he's, um, like, living in my pool. If he actually sews my hair, like, does that mean he's, like, coming to my room at night? Because, like, I thought he only went to my kitchen. I thought it was, like, alright that he would, like, break into my kitchen and take all of my bagels. But, like, I don't know if I'm okay with him going to my bedroom. That's, like, private, you know? I don't know. I don't want to be mean. He's like, I'm trying to have the holiday spirit. Like, I don't want to ruin his Christmas for his family. Your songs are better than BTS. Oh my god, I know. Thank you. That's what I've been saying, but no one believes me. Maybe. I don't know if Larry's, like, really into singing pop music. But I guess we'll see. Maybe I'll talk to him. I don't know, he's really scary. Like, he freaks me out. I don't want to, like, go near him, really, because, like, he's slimy and he jumps really high, like, 20 feet in the air and, like, makes really big splashes in the pool and, like, I don't know. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for closing the limo windows. There's not one brain cell behind those eyes. There's actually, like, I'm actually a human, which means that, um, there's, like, there's, like, at least 20 brain cells. Okay, like, I know science. Sorry if the possum I threw landed in your limo window. Can I have it back, please? Oh, thank you, Dan. $20. A few more bagels, please. Big hugs. Oh, I have to give bagels to you, too, now. Also, um, Red Rocket? Are you the one who threw that through my window? No, I can't give it back because they, they euthanized it as soon as they caught it. I'm sorry, but, like, it's like a security measure. Anything living that gets thrown at me gets immediately, um 
eradicated so sorry about that maybe I can like buy you a new one I could be your bodyguard even if I'm 411 um I already have a bodyguard thank you um so I guess like Dan I can give you like I can give you like one one pack of bagels because I need the rest of them to give to Larry as a peace offering. But if that's okay, then like I can give you I can give you like at least at least one pack, probably. It'll keep you alive for a really long time though, so don't worry. The brain cells are multiplying. Thank you. I beat up that possum once I pulled the limo over. Yeah, it was, it was gruesome. Rest in peace. Is the Seafoam Kitten internet celebrity? Um, no, I'm actually, um, Stardust. I don't know why you guys keep talking about Seafoam. Like, I'm at a pool, not the sea. Just because the water isn't moving doesn't mean it's foam. It just means that it's coagulated frog eggs. I can't help that right now. I'm working on the issue, okay? Like, it's not like my fault, okay? I'm trying. I've tried a lot of things. Also, I'm not an internet celebrity. This is actually my first time ever using a computer, so... I just did this because of you guys. I wanted to be like more of a inclusive um, singer for you because I feel like a lot of people really want to hang out with me and stuff, but they don't really get a chance to because like, you know, security and all that stuff. But here, I can hang out with you guys without the threat of um, rabies and scabies. So it's really cool. I spent all of my life savings to buy all of Stardust merch. I'm now struggling to pay bills, but I'm rich in Stardust merch. Oh my god, thank you, Steven. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it because, like, you know, money, money, like, grows on trees, but Stardust merch is limited time, so it's really important that you buy my merch. Are the rumors in the news of you having a boyfriend true? No, it is not true. <gasps> Pardon me, I forgot to turn my phone volume down. So anyway, excuse me, is that Dr. Pepper? Yeah, it is. I'm actually um, <laughs> Dr. Pepper's number one sponsor. So this is my bikini for today that I decided to wear at the pool. Um, if you want to support me, go buy Dr. Pepper and tell them that Stardust sent you. What made you want to be a pop star? Um, well, I just like started singing when I was like a baby like as soon as I came out I was singing and they heard it and they were like wow that is like such a beautiful voice and that changed my life that's what the doctor said so after that they decided to put me in singing school and so instead of going to regular school I just went to singing school so I actually don't have much um exposure to the uh general public and that's also why I haven't used the internet before. But it's like really exciting. It's like there's so much on here. Thank you, Dudor. It is a nice bikini, isn't it? It's like my favorite one. I like to wear it when I'm at the pool. I usually wear it at my indoor pool because this one has a lot of frog eggs. Bro, you are not Dr. Pepper's top sponsor. I am. Kill? Did, am I getting death threats? Adam? Adam, help. 
I literally don't know what to do. Like, what am I supposed to do? Is this... Is this the one that they were talking about? Like, the one that's been after me? I'm not ready for this. I literally just wanted to come and hang by the pool. I thought that doing an online stream would help me avoid all of these crazy people. Why are... Why are people so crazy all the time? This is really hurting my feelings. Anyway, what what kind of ASMR triggers do you guys like? Every pop star gets death threats. That means you're popular. Oh my god, I guess you I guess you're right about that. I am really popular, so it makes sense, I suppose. Adam, are you complaining about your wage? You get to work for Stardust. I don't see the problem. Anyway. Do you guys like tropical fruits? Just pretend it's a relaxing breeze by the poolside and pretend that the pool water is clean and that it doesn't smell like frogs or pickles. Mangoes. I wish I had a mango right now. I only have, I have, um, this orange, and then I have this, I didn't know what this is. I think it's like an apple. Should I, like, bite it? I don't know who put this in, in my backyard. It might have been Larry. I literally don't know what this is. Dr. Pepper bikini for record. Um, no. I think by the time I do another stream, record will be in prison. So, there's not going to be any more sponsors for that guy. It's an onion. It doesn't smell like one. I don't know, I'm getting mixed answers here. Like some people are saying it's a pomegranate and some are saying it's an onion. So like I literally don't know. I don't even know what those words mean. Take a bite. Should I bite it and find out if it's like an apple or something? Okay, let me try. Uh, wow, it's like really juicy. Oh my god, there's like uh, red juice everywhere. Cream, thank you so much for the donation. Smile sounds. Sure. Wait, let me just sip this juice real quick. Cause it's spilling all over the place. Um, okay, let's see here. Is this like one of those tropical drinks that they sell at the bar? The fancy glasses? I think it's like a special kind of cocktail or something. Da 
Dr. Pepper fruit. I think you might be right about that. Oh my god, it's so messy. Okay, let me do some smile sounds before I continue eating my lunch. I literally have to eat this because I ran out of bagels. And I don't have the nutrients I need to survive because of Larry. But I hope that, like, this will be enough for now. Let's do some smile sounds. Smiles are real because you guys make me so happy. Um, good riddance record. Thanks for nothing. I hope you don't kill me. Goodbye. Bye, Smoothie. Thank you for coming. I'm gonna eat the rest of the bagels. I'm inside your house eating the rest of the bagels. Oh my god, are you Larry? Is that where you are because you haven't seen you at the pool all day? Why is Larry watching my live stream? This is really freaking me out. I've never had a frog watch me before. Um, yeah. Um, big smiles all around. Big smiles. Just keep smiling and all of the pain will go away, okay? Just keep smiling with me, okay, you guys? Hope you get your bagels restocked soon, Stardust. Thank you. I hope so, too. Hunting Larry. Okay, that's not Larry in the chat. But they're hunting Larry. But like, just try to be gentle because I don't know like how he will respond to violence. Just know that he's like probably 300 pounds and he can definitely cause a lot of bodily injuries. I found that out the hard way when I had to pay the medical bills of the exterminators. Oh, Larry, um, he's just like this frog that, um, lives in my pool. Um, he's like eight feet tall and has really big muscles, and he can jump like 20 feet in the air. He's like really weird for a frog, and he like freaks me out. And like all the other frogs are fine, I guess. I still don't really like swimming in the water with frogs, but like, they're not like as problematic as Larry, but like... I think Larry guards the pool because he has a lot of eggs in there and there's just so much eggs that it became like one giant egg and now my water doesn't even move as you can see like it's literally not even moving um that's because it stopped being water and it's now just a giant egg anyway <laughs> God, welcome to the stream, Larson. And good night, Insomni Owl. Thank you so much for coming. Don't forget to come to my next show, okay? Remember, Stardust loves you. least making Larry pay rent. Um, no, because Larry does not live with me. 
I do not live with frogs. He does come into my kitchen and steal my food though, but like, that's just like frog things and I'm trying to be respectful. No, Larry doesn't follow me on TikTok. He's a frog. He doesn't really go on the internet. And neither do I, so. You got the bangles? Okay, I'll have to restock, I guess. Good luck. Good luck, big man. Oh, I think I need to finish this, um, vegetable that I was eating. I don't know what this is. Do I just keep, like, biting it? Let's see. Um, it doesn't really taste that good. It kind of just tastes like grass. And crunchy? What the heck? Oh my god, just some guy, $25. Thank you so much. Can we get kisses in the chat for this guy? Thank you. Stardust loves you. to buy more bagels, madam. Yeah, that would be actually really great, Adam. Thank you. Is Larry related to the man-sized polywog in Gula Gula Island? Um, I'm not sure, but, like, if he's man-sized, then it's probably likely because, like, I don't know any other man-sized frogs. But then again, I don't really know that many frogs, so I don't know. There's like juice in this. I'm just gonna drink it. I'll try to get tickets before they sell out again. Have a great rest of your weekend, Star. Oh my god, thank you. You too. You look stunning like always. Thank you, Soup. I know. That's what I've been saying. Like, I look so good in my new bikini. Sponsored by Dr. Pepper. I thought it was perfect for this poolside event. Where I was just trying to relax you guys. Like, this is my first time doing ASMR, but I think I'm doing like a really good job. That's so good. So good. Stardust, I'll be popping in and out because I'm stuck at work. It's an early stream day. Oh, uh, can you just like tell your boss that Stardust is streaming? Obviously, that's more important than work. I don't really understand the problem. Oh my god. Big man said he escapes Larry. I'm badly injured. However, I got his left arm. I told you nobody can mess with Larry. I've had like eight exterminators go after him. He literally just like can't be stopped. So it's like 
do I give him bagels in my backyard pool or do I like die I don't know like will he kill me he like doesn't seem to be like angry or anything but I feel like if I like threaten his family by saying that he can't live here then he would like fight for his family you know You can cook his arm, I guess that's true. He probably makes good meat. He's very buff. So it's like, I don't know, is like, is like buff mus are buff muscles tasty? Pardon my manners. was a responsible adult and sold my family's car for front wheel Stardust seats. Oh my god, that's a f finally a proper Stardust fan. Thank you so much. You're doing what you have to do. Like, you know, like sometimes life poses challenges and there's times where you just have to do what you gotta do. Like your hand gets forced, you know? And like people don't really understand like how important it is to get Stardust tickets, so, like, I'm really sorry if your family doesn't understand, like, I'm sorry you don't live in a supportive environment, but, like, you're always supported here, okay? I will always support you, and make sure that you always pay for front row tickets. Thank you. Sure is an inconvenient fruit. Stopping by again to say you can't kill Larry, he'll regrow his soul after five hours. Oh my god, did you just find out this information and you had to come back and tell us? Thank you for your investigation. I will pass on the knowledge. I kind of figured that like he couldn't be killed because literally nothing can stop him. I'll sacrifice my firstborn kid to be Stardust's number one fan. That's the spirit. So proud of you. I'm so proud of my little Stardust fans. You guys are like everything to me, you know that? Like, you're so important to me. What would I ever do without you? I wouldn't even know the internet existed. So like, I'm pretty glad about that. Like finding out about the internet was like, probably the best part of my day. Oh dear, okay. Larry tastes good raw. I didn't know so many people like to eat frogs. If you were ever to do a song collab with someone, who would you choose? Um, probably Seraphine. It's Stardust, not Seafoam Fish Poop Foam. Yeah, thank you. Why do people keep talking about fish poop foam? It's so gross.
Is Larry actually a clingy ex, but you're too embarrassed to admit that you used to date a frog? No, like, I would never do that. Literally, that's so gross. Without your fans, you wouldn't have anything. You are what you are because of us. So true. I love you guys so much. You're literally my life. My lifeblood. Well, thank you so much, Cream. Face boobs or unintelligible whispers. Okay. I think I can do that. Let's see. Okay. Boop, like that. Boop. Boop. Am I doing it right? Boop. Boop. This is way much, this is way easier than like doing it in person. Cause like when you do it in person, you have to touch their actual face and then you get like the nose grease all over your finger. It's kind of gross. This is much better. Boop. 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 Stardust only collabs with worthy stars and those who do not exist. Um, the first part is correct, but I only collab with um, people who do exist. Um, unless you're counting Miku, in which case I would consider it. Although her fan base is a little concerning, I think she is very slay. Boop. Boop. If any of you guys are wanting to hear me sing, you'll have to come to my next show. Buy your tickets early and come to my show. That's um, a little secret between me and you. You can get my tickets half price if you buy a Dr. Pepper and tell them that Stardust sent you. And then they automatically give you half price tickets. I'm actually going to do some unintelligibles. So I thought like I could kind of spill the tea about some stuff about like um, my colleagues and uh, fellow singers. So I'm gonna tell you some secrets, but like don't tell anyone about this, okay? This is like a top secret. So anyway, so like,
god, just some guy? $100, ticket deposit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your ticket deposit. I will give you a bonus um, package that will come in the mail to you, okay? It's going to be tickets and all of my previous albums and um, a special signed card from me. So look out, it'll come. But make sure you come to the show and I'll meet you afterwards and you'll get a VIP ticket too. And we can hang out and I can even boop you. Even if you have like a really greasy nose, I can still boop you. Like, I can make an exception, okay, like once in a while. Um, as long as my bodyguards are there so that nothing like creepy happens, I think we'll be okay. As long as Larry doesn't come. <laughs> Thank you. weird onion thank you guys for being so understanding like I really needed your support right now so like it means the world to me that you would be here for me in my time of need thank you My name is Stardust. Um, it's a Nazi foam. I don't know why you guys keep talking about sea foam. I'm literally at a pool, not the sea. And I'm not made of fish poop, so like, can you stop calling me that? Or I'm gonna have to get Adam to like kick you out. Thank you, Cream. I know, right? Like, this is literally too much for one little girl to deal with. Me 
and Rocket got you back. Thank you. Adam, literally, you're supposed to do whatever I say now. Get out of the limo. What am I paying for you? If not this, what am I paying you for? I literally don't have rabies. I got tested after the possum incident, okay? I literally don't have rabies. so hard to open. I thought onions had like layers or something. It's pretty juicy though. It tastes like good and stuff. It's making a huge mess though. It's like staining everywhere. But I think like I can use this as like a lipstick stain because it stains everything red. I've been looking for like all natural lipstick, so this is like a really good option for me. That possum was a good lad. Rest in peace, Cornelius. not a pomegranate, I don't think. I don't know. It's not really like up to me to decide that for, for you, Adam. So like you can decide that for yourself. Anyway, so like, what are you guys' favorite ASMR triggers? Mine's nothing, but like, people like you like to um listen to ASMR so like I will do it for you since I'm so loyal to my number one fans I will do pretty much anything for you guys I literally love you guys so much Some stuff at the pool, yeah. I have a few things if you want to look around. I don't have any like blow up gooses or anything, uh. Um, but like you can um check it out. I can show you. get some tongue clicking. Thank you so much, Timbo. Yes, I'm actually like a professional at tongue clicking. So, um, just sit back and relax and listen to these special edition Stardust tongue clicking sounds.
my god, welcome back. It's an insomnia owl. It didn't take you long. They always come back. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. Throwing frogs into a swimming pool and make splashing noises. Yeah, it would, but like my pool is currently um turned into jello because of all the frog eggs. So like I can't really like make any splashing sounds right now. I'm so sorry about that. You're the seed to my body. I can't grow without you. Like the wind and dust. Without wind, the dust cannot fly. That's right. You're just like dust. I'm so glad you know your place. the whole outfit oh my god I'm so glad you asked so let me just show you what I'm wearing <laughs> this is what I'll be wearing at my next show so if you want to see it in full action while I'm dancing then you're gonna have to come to my show This is um, my big Dr. Pepper bikini that I wear by my pool. Sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for asking. I will not fall in. I actually know how to swim, so it's not a problem. And the water is solid right now, so. collect Larry's other arm. Um, I don't advise you do that because he's like really, really dangerous um, and I don't want to endanger my fans so I think you should probably just leave Larry alone like I don't know maybe I should get like a lawyer involved but then like Larry could just throw him over the fence too so I don't really know what to do. He's just like he's not like any other frog that I've had in my pool. It's very concerning. Where was I? Oh yeah, tongue clicking. Oh my god, some guy again. I need the top tier tickets, please. Absolutely. You get front row seats, and not just front row, but like the front row, which is only two seats. And that's the one that's on the stage, so you'll be extra close to me when you come to my show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Trevor. I'm glad you're gonna be there too. Everyone should definitely come to my show and I'll definitely blow you kisses. A special little shout out to anyone who came to my ASMR live stream. Just, um, we'll keep it between me and you that it was an ASMR stream because a lot of my, um, colleagues 
think that ASMR is cringe and I don't really want to embarrass myself in front of them so like I'll just say that um I talked to you guys from like a TikTok stream <laughs> Fishnets are the best invention since bikinis. That is definitely um, something that I would approve of because I think fishnets are really hot and they make me look beautiful. Larry is the frog he watches. Yeah, Larry is the frog and he does watch, but he also acts. So like, there's like a lot of frogs in my pool, but um, Larry's like eight feet tall and like really buff and um he protects the frog eggs that are in my pool and like I tried cleaning it and I tried ex getting an exterminator but like nothing works because Larry just keeps fighting everyone off and like he even like injured one of my fans so like that's not cool at all but like and he also steals all my bagels like he comes into my house sometimes but I don't want to really like, I don't really want to talk about it. Oh my god, cream. Thank you so much. Soft smooches for all. We'll start off with a smooch for you, cream. Thank you. Thank you. And now we'll give smooches for everyone. Yeah, he body slammed. I'm so sorry that happened to you. I, I am not liable for anything that Larry does, but like, I'm really sorry that that happened. Let me kiss it better, okay? Come here and I'll kiss it better. Oh my god, Stardust, you're... I'm your biggest fan. Oh my god, Root Beer Pirate. Thank you so much. I love my number one fans. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I'm sure I'll see you at my show. Kisses for you. Oh my god, who is this butter dog guy literally killing my vibe right now? Where's my bodyguard? He's literally killing my vibe. Do you use your fish nets to clean your pool? Um, yeah, cause there's really no better way to do it. Like, since there's frogs, like, um, it's different than cleaning out like regular pools because Regular pools need like a finer net for the small debris, but like um, the frogs are kind of big. They're like this big. Um, and then Larry's like that big. So I do need a really big net. James, did your, stre your Streamlabs donation did not show up? Let me check. Oh my god, I don't really know how to use computers. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Um, stream lab. Um, what, what was the name that you donated from? I can check it for you. It will show up, I think. If it doesn't, then I can just check it and like play it again. I want to make sure that you're all recognized for your contributions to Stardust. Tickets cost so much, but I just had to be front row. I know. Somebody sold their um, parents' car for a ticket. That was so sweet of them. And I heard somebody was, like, considering selling their firstborn child. 
That's like so sweet. Like I love when my fans are dedicated, you know, like it really shows how much you care about me. Oh my god, you got Larry's eggs. Thank you. Uh, did you clean it without killing the eggs? Maybe we can like put them somewhere else, like where Larry can um, guard them. Like in a, like where do frogs live? Like Walmart? I don't know. Yeah, you can never have too many number one fans. You're all number one. VIP package for getting baptized in your pool full of frog eggs with Adam role playing as the ordained minister. Um, I didn't have that before, but like I can set it up for you just for you and anyone else who would like to get baptized in my frog pool. If you guys really think that you would be willing to do that, it would mean a lot to me. And it would make me feel a lot safer in my own home. So thank you. I will allow you to do that. Stardust, I'm your fattest fan. I can play the drums on my belly to your music. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Mr. Imperfect. Maybe I can get you to be like a backup drummer sometime. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you, James. Thank you so much. I think it'll show up in just a moment. Hopefully. We gotta make sure that James gets recognized, you guys. There it is. Thank you so much, James, my number one fan. Just some guy in Streamlabs. Oh, you're just some guy? Wait. I'm a little confused, but I appreciate it either way. Thank you so much. Did you want like extra, extra tickets? I can give you like a ticket to like your whole family. I would really like if you could convert your family into Stardust fans. That would be really important to me. So if you could do that for me, that would be really good. Don't forget her second album, Pickles of Life, yeah. It's tough being a girl that can only survive off of everything bagels, but it's what has to be done because they have every nutrient that I need to live, so. Do you guys think I should bottle my pool water, like the frog water, and like sell it? Like Stardust pool water. I think I could sell that. I wonder if I'd have to give Larry royalties. Hmm. Maybe that would help support his children. If I gave him like a fund to like support his children, then maybe he doesn't have to like live here until Christmas has like a thousand babies. It's like a lot of eggs. to eat like another fruit and we'll see if this one um is red on the inside too i really hope not because it made a really big mess 
and the red is leaking into my pool water right now. Oh my god, and so many owl, $10. Looking forward to the VIP seats I got for 70k. Enjoy what's left in my bank account. Oh my god, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I am glad that somebody appreciates the fact that I keep my prices at a modest price so that everyone who is anyone can attend. Thank you so much for the rest of the money in your bank account. That really means a lot to me. It really shows how loyal you are to me. Can we get kisses for Insomni Owl? Mwah. Thank you. Let's try this fruit. What kind is this? It's like an orange kind? I don't know. just went off the stardust kidnappers are here they're gonna use me to get to you stardust i have to go i'm going into hiding oh my god thank you so much steven you literally saved my life please hide as long as you can and do not let them get to me because i'm trying to relax at my pool right now and that would be really really inconvenient um and it would definitely kill my vibe if someone kidnapped me right now You're not supposed to bite Larry. He's literally made of pure muscle. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for your teeth. Please, like, keep yourself safe, okay? I really care about you and I don't want you to get hurt. So please stay away from Larry the Frog. Is it hard to be a pop star? Yeah, it's actually really hard. Like, it's really hard to live your life, like, sitting by the pool and getting free money from strangers. It's, like, really hard because, like, not everyone's buying my tickets, so it's, like, it makes me, like, feel bad about myself, you know? Because it's, like, I'm literally right here, so, like, why aren't all of you buying tickets? 
like I'm literally right in front of you so I don't know it's like hard but like I feel like the the, the positive at least the negative because like a lot of you guys like really like seeing my shows and like I get to do these cool live streams where I get to talk to you and I get to do new things like become the best ASMR in the world even though this is my first time doing ASMR and my first time streaming and my first time on the internet thank you I'll stop eating fruits because like I think we have enough of the tropical vibe right now so um I have like some stuff that makes ASMR sounds okay okay you guys can pick from three of them so I have this thing which I found on the ground I don't know what it is And then I have these scissors, which I use to cut the umbilical cords of Larry's children. And, and then I have this crinkly thing. Are there people in my house right now? Oh my god, not this again. I literally just dealt with Larry going into my house and now there's more people in my house. Careful not to get lost, it's like really big. Weird floor waffle. Okay, I will do the weird floor waffle just for you guys. What is this talk of two Larrys? I don't really like the sound of that. That's kind of like a bummer. Oh, Rick, be a pirate. 670. Stardust, you're like, you're the best, like, ASMR. -er. We're so lucky as fans. Wait, I read it too slowly. Um, we're so lucky as fans that you'd even spend time with us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You are really lucky that I give you guys the time of day, especially since you guys like watch ASMR and stuff. It's kind of like nerdy. But anyway, I know that like you guys like love seeing me, so I'll do anything for you. Who's Larry? Um, Larry's like this really big like eight foot frog that lives in my pool in my backyard. He's not here right now, that's why I'm out here. But like usually I don't come out because like Larry's here guarding all of the frog eggs. So I usually just swim in my indoor pool. But today it's like really sunny out so I thought like I could do some ASMR out here. Um, but it seems like um, maybe Larry's getting chased down by some of my fans right now. Um, they're a little bit mad because he was disrespecting my privacy by coming into my house and stealing my bagels, which I need to live, and, um, not letting me go in the pool and turning my pool into basically a frog fish, frog egg breeding ground, and, um, it's really jelly and now my water doesn't even move, so, like, no one can swim in it.
I'm not Stacy. My name is Stardust. Um, actually, Stacy is one of my rivals, so I don't really want to talk about her. She's literally like bad vibes. He's dead. You can't kill Larry. I don't believe you. He's coming back soon. Just like keep an eye out because like he can't be killed. I'll clean your pool, Stardust. I'll even do it for free. Oh my god, thank you so much. And while you're doing that, you could you like put um some of the water in bottles so I could sell it. Thank you. Oh Stacy dub Stardust exactly, thank you. Finally, someone gets it, and, like, Stacy is, like, such... I'm not gonna... I'm not going to, um, speak ill of those less fortunate. So... Maybe we should just not talk about Stacy at all. Because, literally, I'm just giving her publicity right now. Stacy, the red-haired girl. I don't know. She changes her hair like every week. Sorry for asking so often, but would you be mad if I stole from charity to pay for tickets? Um, usually that would like not be like a chill thing to do, but like I understand like when times get tough, like your hand is forced. So, um. I won't judge you for it because like we all have those low points in our life where we have to do things that we regret so I understand Larry eats like bagels I don't really I thought frogs eat like like grass or something I don't know but like Larry eats bagels and he keeps feeding them to his children um and they're actually my bagels so like i don't really like that he does that but i i don't think you guys should like um <laughs> i don't think you guys should like be too mean to larry because he's like a single father and it's like coming up to christmas so I don't really want to be like hiring assassins um, during the holiday season. I'm trying to like become um, more like filled with holiday cheer and do do good things because I don't really want to get on the naughty list because I really need I really need Santa to buy me a Ferrari. We want made record. Well, too bad because record is um, going to be in jail for death threats of a pop star. My bodyguards will hunt him down. Have you ever received a card from Tri Club Triple Z? Um, we don't really talk about that place. That's like not something that we can talk about. Oh my god, okay, so which trigger should I do next? Um, oh, I actually have these things. I literally just, like, found them in my own house. I literally don't even know where they came from. Um, and also it has a bite out of it. I think Larry, like, tried to eat it. I think he thought it was, like, a bagel or something. So, I don't really know why that happened, but...
Do you guys like tapping? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm tapping. Potato peeling. Um, I unfortunately do not have any potatoes at the pool. The GP coaster, yeah. I literally don't even know what that means. Like, is that like slang for, for like frog people or something? I think that Larry dropped this in my house, so maybe it's like something that he he enjoys. Like a, it's like a frog culture thing or something. Please do not cook Larry during the holiday seasons. I'm trying to be um generous and if you do that, like that's like on my conscience because I told you guys about Larry and then I won't get my Ferrari from Santa. Please do not do that. Larry is beginning to scare me with its powers. What more do you know of this frog? Um, I don't know, like I think he went to law school. Which is like a little concerning because like I was thinking about taking legal action because like he's like trespassing but like If he like knows every law then like how am I supposed to um defeat him? Who the heck even are you? I'm Stardust. I'm like the world's hottest rising pop star. Obviously you've heard of me, like everyone's heard of me. You know, you can just say that you don't like me and go, okay? Like you don't have to pretend that you haven't heard of me. Oh my god, Villa I just it says I just committed a crime, but I don't care. I have a ticket so I can see you at your show. Thank you so much, Villa. That is so sweet. I really appreciate that. I understand that sometimes we have to do drastic measures to follow our heart and get what we want. And that's kind of like what I've been doing my whole life, you know? Um, sometimes you just gotta take that chance and go for what your heart desires and follow your dreams and I encourage all of you guys to follow your dreams and get a stardust ticket by any means necessary thank you how many times have you been on the billboard charts? <laughs> I mean I've kind of lost count like it's kind of more like the question should be how many times have I not been on the billboard charts, you know? I don't know. Um, I don't know what MySpace is. What is that? Um, I'm sorry, but like I don't really know about um, internet stuff because this is my first time using the internet. gonna stop buying SUV petrol for three weeks to save money for an e-ticket because forgot forget paper. Thank you, Luke. That's so sweet of you. I really love seeing how dedicated my fans are. Hi, Ikito. I don't know who Fomi is, but like, 
if you're referencing seafoam again, I don't know why people keep saying that I'm fish poop. It's kind of like rude if you ask me, but like, thank you for the compliment anyway. I appreciate it. My space was a shrine to you. Oh my god, did I miss out on a secret shrine? I mean, I knew that like the internet was filled with wonderful things, but I didn't know like about that one. I thought like the manager would tell me or something. But, like that's really cool. I'm actually really excited. Will you guys keep making shrines with me? It would make me feel really honored if you guys like continued to shrine. And like kept building it until it was really big, like the size of a castle. Like, um, you could call it like Stardust Manor. Can we cook Larry after the holidays then? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to like say what you can and can't do. Um, that's like up to you and your free will. I really like to inspire people to have free will most of the time. Stardust is the most gorgeous pop star ever. Oh my god, thank you. I know. I, I really appreciate that, Jenny. Thank you. I love my loyal fans. Kisses for you. What about tributes? Um, yeah, if anyone would like to do a tribute to me, I would really appreciate people contributing their time and love to me. Selling my little brother, can't wait to see you. Oh my god, thank you, Pal Palinol. Thank you so much. You're such a loyal fan. I don't know what I would do without you. You really are loyal, aren't you? Thank you so much. Stardust loves you. Foam is your less famous doppelganger. It's uncanny. Oh, is it like someone that I look like? I mean, is there anyone that could be like as beautiful as me? I don't think so. You guys must have to get your eyes checked because like I'm a one of a kind piece and nobody is like me. That's why I'm the number one pop star. Thank you. Welcome Cameron. Are you a Stardust fan? Of course you are. I welcome you. We're just having a nice ASMR session by the pool. This is my backyard pool. Um, I usually use my indoor pool in my penthouse, but I thought it was a really nice day and Larry wasn't around, so like I could actually come near the pool without him throwing me across the yard, so I thought that was really cool. Like a shrine, of course. Yeah, exactly. I really love when people make, like, con contributing shrines to me. About to participate in the Hunger Games for a concert ticket. Thank you. I know a lot of people are um, resorting to Hunger Games and Squid Games in order to get my tickets. And I really appreciate the dedication. It really tells me how much you are a super fan. And you know what super fans get? Love from Stardust. Mwah. Remember everyone, crime is okay if it's in order to get Stardust tickets.
I have a serious question for you. What do you think about the people who don't believe in individualism? Um, I definitely know what that word means, and, like, I think, I think that, like, as, like, a society, we need to, like, um, band together and contribute to, like, the c contribute. Oh my gosh, thank you, group. You're a pirate. You're one of a kind, Styles. Thank you so much for the kisses. You're so good to your fans. I know. Thank you. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know. I forgot. Sean, thank you. I'll sac I shall sacrifice 100 virgins for a ticket. Yeah, you have to do what you gotta do. I respect that. Thank you. All of you who are donating, you know, you can, like, request ASMR triggers, too, right? Because this is, like, my first ASMR stream, and I was thinking, like, I could just, like, make you guys feel relaxed by the pool. We could do some nice, relaxing poolside whispers. And you can just pretend that the pool doesn't smell like frogs. And just close your eyes. Listen to the water that's not moving at all. There you go, just relax. Might steal Fab One in order to transport Stardust to the concert in style, who doesn't want to show up in an extremely long hot pink car. I would love that. You'll have to talk to my manager, but like... That's way better than the limo that I've been using, so like, please do. I would love that. It's so glamorous. Okay, I'm going to get up close now. Whisper, whisper, whisper. What should I whisper about? I'm thinking about my lack of bagels right now. and then 
and your ticket will be mostly paid for. I think the tinkles go so hard, my heart stopped for a few seconds. Oh dear, I would like your heart to stay on actually, because I need it to be like um, working so that you can watch my show. I already have one, but I'll totally buy another. Oh my god, thank you. Yeah, you can like invite your, um, do you have a dog or like a bird? You can bring them. That would be really cool. How many pools do you need? Um, probably like six, not including the ocean that's surrounding my island. I really like to swim. This is why it's so devastating that, like, my pool is filled with frog eggs right now. <gasps> Tiger Lily, I'm quite enjoying your first stream. You're doing so well. Oh, wait, I didn't read fast enough. May I request scratching on mic? Oh my god, thank you for your donation. Um, that is a great trigger, but, like, this microphone's really hard. Maybe I can put something soft over it. Let's see. One moment, I might be able to find something. swimming okay so like I have two things so I have some <laughs> you want the hard microphone okay I can do soft and hard is anyone going to have their ears destroyed if I keep doing the hard microphone can do that for you. Should I use like something like heart too? Or should I just use my fingers? Or like the Let's see, can we do it like this? doing it right yet? I don't know. If Stardust likes water so much, we could install one of those waterfall things in the middle of the living room that fall from the ceiling and land perfectly into a slot on the floor. Oh my god, you're so right. I should definitely do that. I can connect my two poles. Yeah, I should do that. Stay tuned for Stardust's penthouse waterfall. I'm doing it right. Okay, good. Tell me if I should go like harder or softer. Stardust blessing us with the presents and the triggers are just as ripe as ready as the tropical fruit on our property. Thank you. I actually um, have fruit here, but I don't know what they are. But I think it's probably tropical because there's like sun here. MBTI, I literally don't know what you're talking about. Um, can you use like English? Star 
artist never fails to be amazing at nap inducing oh my god thank you um i hope you're not talking about my music and you're only talking about this stream because this is my first asmr stream and i thought i could try and like relax you guys but like i don't know i think like Like, most of my friends think that ASMR is, like, super nerdy and stuff, so, like, just don't tell anyone that I'm doing this. Since your queen and the queen of England died, does that mean you should be on the throne instead of that Charles wannabe? Yes, absolutely. That's what I've been saying, but, like, nobody wants to listen. It's because I'm a woman, and, like, women don't have voices in this country. But, like, I think, like, if I could get some big, strong men that are fans of me, um, that could speak up for me and, and, like, let them know that I do belong in the place of the queen, um, that they would listen. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jesse. Oh my god, like, hi, giraffes. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying this relaxing poolside calming session today. Seems like Larry was dealt with, so, like, he's not, um, guarding the frog eggs in the pool anymore, so he's just, like, off somewhere. I don't know. I think he got, like, taken down, um, but he usually regenerates and comes back to life because he's unkillable, so he'll probably be back in, like, a couple hours, but, like, I don't know what I'll do then, honestly. I can't really take legal action because he's literally a law student. No, he's not even a student. I think he has like a PhD. I don't know how frogs get university degrees, but like he has like a law degree. Okay, I'm gonna put this on it and see if it like makes good sounds. Stardust, where can I download your latest album? Um, I don't know. You'll have to ask my manager because I don't really go on the internet, but like you can buy all of my albums on vinyl and I'd really prefer you do it that way. Thank you. I am very pleased to meet you too, Jesse. Have you gotten um, tickets to my show yet? Oh my god, Ruby again, $5. It's, your ASMR is so good. Could we hear some whispers or like tongue flutters or maybe like whatever you feel like? Oh my god, thank you so much for giving me my personal autonomy, but I think I would like to do some whispers and I'll try to do some tongue flutters too just for you actually I'll do the tongue flutters later when I take the fluffy mic off because the fur is getting in my mouth and that's like killing my vibe modeling. I want to attend Stardust Fashion Show. Mm, I don't know. Like, I have a lot of, like, stuff on my plate right now. I'm very busy, you know, with, like, being famous as a pop star, but, like, 
I would love to do modeling if I found like the right designer but it's kind of got to be like really really fabulous because I'm not gonna settle for anything less you know like I don't want my name on something subpar you'll start us ever release an album on cassette actually we just had we had released um my recent album on cassette as well so there's actually a special album art that you can only get through the cassette purchases so if you'd like to see it you'll have to buy that version thank you oh, philip thank you so much you're my number one fan i appreciate you love you philip Very cute sticker, too. I did a disgusting deed, but I finally got a ticket. Oh my god, thank you! Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. version it's really good if you can buy my album in every possible form i also have an oral version which is um there is a person who follows you around and impersonates my songs by singing them to you um that one is like exclusive so it costs a lot but like it's really worth it Good night, Insomni Owl. Thank you so much for coming. I can't wait to see you. And I might hit you up about that little offer of yours. Thank you. Yes, I could do vocal cord modeling. A lot of people are asking me for vocal cord pictures lately. So I think I might, like, take up their offer. There you go. I'm going to do some tongue fluttering now. the pool um i'm having an issue with my water which is causing it to like not move at all it's because of um an excess amount of frog eggs from an intruder who came into my backyard and um started having eggs um every day but i think he might be taken care of now so we'll see um, if he doesn't, then I'll consider, um, pursuing legal action. But, I don't really want to think about that right now, because it's, like, not chill, you know? It's a lot of my kidneys for a ticket, no regrets. Oh my god, thank you so much! You're such a loyal fan! I appreciate you. Stardust loves you. Some sniffs, an interesting request. I don't know, I feel like you need to pay me like a lot of money for that. That sounds like something, um, something that like the mystery internet people would ask me to do. 
Oh my gosh, thank you for coming, Megan. I hope you have a wonderful night. I can't wait to see the castle. Please, like, send me pictures. Um, I don't use the internet, so you'll have to send them by carrier pigeon, but, like, I would really appreciate it if you sent me pictures of the Stardust Castle. Thank you. Long legged Larry is probably busy saving the world anyways. You need to worry about that. Yeah, he might be a busy. Like, I don't think he's like a bad guy because like he's a single father. Who's Larry? Larry's like a frog that's like eight feet tall and really buff and he lives in my pool. Um, I usually just use my indoor pool because he is always out here. But he's not out here today, so that's why I'm streaming. Um, but yeah, he's like not that bad. Um, I think he's just trying to take care of his family. Um, so I try to be understanding, like, you know, you're, sp you're supposed to like spread kindness and peace and love in the world. And I think like, since it's like close to Christmas, I just, I, I want to be kept on the good list and not on the naughty list, so I don't want to do anything that is mean to Larry, so I'm going to um, say good things about him. He's less fortunate, so we should respect that even if he does break into my house and steal my bagels. I'll have to order some tickets for your show and maybe get you my autograph. If you'd like an autograph, then you'll have to meet me, um, after my shows. Sometimes it's really busy, though, so you'll have to wait for a while. Or you could pay extra and get a VIP ticket. And if you do that, then I'll definitely give you an autograph if I notice you when you go into the VIP area. You're right, Queen Stardust. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Tiger Lily. Thank you for buying tickets. Have a wonderful night. Mwah. Stardust loves you. <laughs> Does Larry rub his hands around you? Um, I don't know. He doesn't really, like, say anything to me. I don't even know if he can talk. But, like, he seems, like, kind of respectful, but, like, he just, like, freaks me out because he's, like, really big and, like, I know that I can't, like, catch him in a, in a net. And, like, if I get too close, he'll throw me, um, really far, like, 20 feet. I think it's, though, because, like, he really wants to protect his children, so I have to, like, respect his boundaries, you know? I would love to party. Love party with you after the show. Um, I don't usually like party with, um, fans just because, like, um, you guys are, are kind of, like, dirty and, um, nerdy, so I don't know, like, last time I was close to a fan, I got a possum thrown through my window, so I, I don't really know if I want to, like, hang out in real life, but, like, that's why I made these streams, so that we can, like, hang out and you guys can't, um, get anywhere near me. Oh my god, cream! Thank you so much! Subtle mouth sounds. Um, I can try. Let's see. Subtle, so, like, very quietly. Oh, Michael, thank you so much! Have a boost to your carrier pigeon fleet. This should get you a half a dozen of them. Thank you so much. I will add to my carrier pigeons because like I've been getting like a lot more fan mail lately and it helps to have extra pigeons around to deliver responses. I don't write them but like my manager does and he's like really good at writing responses. You have to tell me, like, if I'm doing it right, or, like, if I should do it a different way.
actually, I'm going to put on more lips, lip gloss and that will add to the mouth sounds. Thank you so much. Hi Stardust, would you do more mouth sounds? Of course, anything for you. So I was doing subtle mouth sounds, but I'll do a little more of those and I'll do like more loud mouth sounds after that. Canceled my therapist sessions, don't need those now, I have Stardust. Thank you, exactly. Like, there's really no reason to not be happy as long as you're, um, a fan of Stardust, and as long as you buy my tickets. Like, I'm literally right in front of you when you go to my show, so there's like no reason to be sad ever. Yes, so thank you for being a loyal fan. secret to becoming famous? Um, I'm not YouTube famous, I'm just like world famous. Um, this is my first time on YouTube and my first time on the internet, so I don't really have any tips for like internet fame, but like, um, for how I got like famous in real life, it's like, basically I came out of the womb and I was like singing really beautifully and my doctors like were really moved by that and so like my parents decided that I should go to singing school and so like I went to the special school for singing pop stars instead of regular school um and then like I just kind of grew up as a pop star so like I guess you just have to um be really good at singing and then you can be famous like me but like not more famous because that would be rude thank you would Stardust get a stick and poke tattoo from a particular mouse? Um, I don't think mouses can do tattoos, but I am not going to get a stick and poke because that is unsanitary and I don't really want to be at risk of getting rabies because like getting rabies is kind of a fear of mine considering like after the possum incident, I was like really freaked out by that, so I don't really want to like risk it anymore, you know? Um, yes, you should definitely start the construction of the Stardust Church. Please definitely do that, um, but don't spend more money than you can then you can like use two for tickets because I need you to buy tickets first and then you can buy like church stuff after that. Thank you. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Oh my god, thanks. I know, I'm kind of a natural at this, aren't I?
is the secret of your beauty um i think like you just have to be blessed i guess like um it's like no filter no surgeries it's just me you know like i guess if you want like a real secret it's to um be born like stardust oh my god you haven't seen me since 2019 oh my god thank you for being such a loyal fan i'm so glad that there's like people who enjoy um stardust since a long time ago even though I wasn't conceived then. Smile sounds. I did some smile sounds like earlier, but I can do more. What do you guys think your fandom name should be? I never really thought of that before. Give me some ideas. Maybe we can come up with one. Um, yeah, that does say Dr. Pepper. This is my Dr. Pepper bikini. I thought I could wear it to the pool today. Um, because, like, Dr. Pepper is my number one sponsor. So, thank you. Um, I don't know who Obama is, but, um, if you'd like to snuggle with somebody else, then maybe, like, you're in the wrong stream because you're only supposed to want to snuggle with Stardust. Frogs have rabies? Oh, no, I didn't really know that. Um, do you think, like... After the frogs hatch, like, I'll get, like, a, a lot of rabies in my pool. I don't really want that. Like, that would not be chill at all. Anyway, let's continue doing smile sounds. You're, um, pretending to snuggle with Stardust. Um, I wouldn't actually snuggle with any of you. Stardust, do you like a real man handling you? Um, no, not like, um, any of the men that are here because they usually smell like Doritos and they have strange, um, vermin type animals accompanying them. I'm a dust bunny even though I can't get tickets. Oh my god, I'm so sorry you can't get tickets. That is, um, inexcusable. Um, I don't know, yikes. Kind of problematic. Anyway. I do like dust bunnies though because like it's like um I'm the wind and you guys are dust so it really fits considering my name is stardust and all yes you can be dust bunnies I like the sound of that 
Stardust Lifts her little dust bunnies. I guess service dogs are allowed. Um, just don't bring any possums or any other creatures with rabies or um, eight feet frogs. Thank you. Doritos Cologne is not a good choice. Um, no, it's actually probably the worst choice. I have this piece of foam. I was thinking like I could cover the mic and see what happens. Let's see. Um, I can't tell. Why does it remind me of... Nah, it's just my imagination wandering off again. Yeah, it's definitely your imagination. A listening point, five dollars. Thank you. Sorry for throwing that possum at you. I panicked. That was you. Oh my god. Where is security? What do you mean you panicked? I don't know. I don't know. You guys are like really freak me out sometimes. I mean, at least you're not like a giant frog, so I guess I can give you that. And this other ASMR, they have cool merch. Um, can you like not talk about other ASMRs while I'm here? Like I'm literally right here. Like, um, you're only supposed to be talking about me, Stardust. Thank you. It's a Ferrari pink. Well, I haven't gotten one yet, but it would be ideal if it was pink or purple. Or sparkles. I think I would really like one with sparkles on it. Like... Maybe even like pink, purple, and sparkles. Oh my god, hi FLI, thank you for coming. Stardust loves you. My little dust bunny. stop holding the foam there just because it's like kind of annoying but I do have this brush so I was thinking like I usually use it for my makeup um but I think I could probably use it on the microphone or I could use it on you I could use it on both perhaps um Oh, 
Oh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the foam. Maybe I'll bring it back in a bit. Okay, time to hear what it sounds like. Sour Patch Kids or Sour Patch Watermelons. Um, I actually don't eat those. I only eat um, um, the fruits from my garden and everything bagels, so I'm not really sure. Oh my gosh, hi Kalix, welcome. Stardust loves you. Mwah. Galaxy purple with sparkles, an excellent choice. Thank you. I know I make really good choices every day of my life. <laughs> Did you know you can get more fans using the internet? Yeah, that's actually why I um, started using the internet today. I found out about the internet and it was like the best day of my week. So I came here and turns out there's a bunch of dust bunnies and I'm really excited to talk to you guys. Make sure you all get tickets to my next show. It'll be so good. Your mind is going to be blown at the back of your skull. My favorite place to visit, um, probably that private island that I'm thinking about buying. Um, it's like off of the coast. It's pretty remote. Um, I was thinking about buying it and making it like a little society where all of my dust bunnies can live. Um, of course separated f with a glass wall so that they can't like touch me or like I can't smell them and stuff. But we would live on the same island and it would be like super wonderful and beautiful. I think it would be so sweet. Tickets. Be right back on a buy. Thank you, Lance. Listening point. Thank you so much for the donation. Will you sign my Dr. Pepper collection? Absolutely, I will. Um, I'll see you at the VIP section, perhaps, and then I can sign whatever you'd like me to sign. Um, and if you don't have a way to get to the VIP, you can send it through Carrier Pigeon, and I might be able to um, send that and get it back to you. I'm a clean dust bunny? I sure hope so. A lot of the dust bunnies seem to smell like Doritos. Okay, let's see here. I think I will um, use this foam again because you guys seem to like it a lot. Pigeon, yeah, like, um, I don't really like use the internet or, um, like, you know, any of that stuff, so. Um, I have trained pigeons that do my mail. Yeah. I'm so glad you like the foam. 
don't know why everyone's so obsessed with foam in this chat. You guys just keep talking about it like all day. But like, if you insist. business idea you should consider. Um, go on and tell me. I don't know if it's going to be genius or not, but we'll see. I'm sure you could see why we like the foam. I don't know why you guys keep talking about the sea either, because I'm literally at a pool. This is my backyard. This is not the sea. So like, I don't really get it. I want to get my guy that follows me around singing your song signed by you. Oh my god, I would be honored to sign him for you. It's actually like, it really warms my heart when I see people who have purchased the oral version of my album. So like, I'll definitely get a smile out of that and will happily sign your guy. Branded pigeon milk, first of its kind. What? What is pigeon milk? I have pigeons and I have not encountered any milk thus far. Are you going to like put pigeons in milk? I don't think that's very humane. Like, no offense, but like. I don't really, um, support animal abuse unless it's Larry the Frog because he, um, invades my privacy and trespasses onto my property. You got a VIP ticket. Oh my god, thank you, Sammy. Mwah. Stardust loves you so much. Mwah. Thank you. What genre of music do you do? <laughs> you don't have to pretend like you haven't heard of me. Obviously I do pop songs. I'm on like the top of every chart. <laughs> you know, you can just like say that you don't like me. You don't have to like pretend that you don't know about me. That's kind of bad vibes. Um, I'd like you to um, like clean up the bad vibes, please. Thank you. Foam reminds me of the sea, and the sea has octopus poo in it. Yeah, exactly. It's like gross. I don't really like um, poop from different animals, so it's not really like something I'm into. Would you sign my dog's harness patch? I'll even wear gloves so you don't have to touch him or I. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. I really appreciate that and I would definitely sign it for you. Just come along to the VIP. Or you can send your dog um, via carrier pigeon. Um, you might need to use several pigeons though. Do you own a sofa manufacturing factory in West Idaho with bear workers? Um, no, that's not me. I don't make sofas. I make pop music. Um, 
that's my passion and I don't think I will be making a passion out of furniture anytime soon. Yeah, thank you. Yes, please do order VIP tickets. You can um, just get it like by upgrading your ticket on my website or through the pigeon mail and you can just upgrade to VIP for an extra $2,000, so yeah. I don't know why people are saying that I look like this other person, like, nobody looks like me. I'm one of a kind. I'm the only stardust in the world, and... If anyone looks like me, they're clearly trying to copy me. And I don't really appreciate when people try to copy my vibe because like I've curated this all by myself. It's kind of like my brand and it's kind of like yikes when people copy me. So like whatever, I don't really want to talk about that. It's like bad vibes. I just want to have good vibes in this chat and like hang out by the pool and relax, you know? Just relax, chill out, calm down, no frogs are gonna attack us today, or throw us over fences, it's all gonna be just fine. You guys are so sweet. I'm so glad I have my dust bunnies here. If it wasn't for you, like, I wouldn't be even feeling safe right now. For, like, I don't know, like, the pool thing is just, like, yeah, it's, like, been on my mind. Yeah, it's, like, I really like my penthouse, and I like my other pools, but, like, this one is really special to me because of the sunshine, and now that there's been like some problems with frogs it's like really sad but like you guys help me to feel a lot better I appreciate you guys Oh no, is that Larry? 